Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another print quality test video. Today we're going to be testing out the Epson EcoTank 8500 model. You probably were directed here from the unboxing video that I did on this printer. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be printing off some different photos with a lot of different colors, uh, different depth, uh, so you get a good idea of what kind of quality this printer produces. So if this is your first time watching one of my videos uh, and this video ends up being helpful, please make sure to like. If you have any questions at all, comment below. And then if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. So what I'm doing is I'm connecting directly from my MacBook Pro uh, to the Epson EcoTank via a MacBook uh, RayQ extender. So I'm going to link all of these products that I have here on screen, uh, my laptop that I'm using, uh, the RayQ extender, the printer, and any other products I talk about in this video will be linked in the description below. So as you can see, this printer does do double-sided printing. Very important to me personally. It probably is important to you as well, uh, but it does handle double-sided printing. Here we are printing the uh, Constitution of the United States, and you can see uh, that it printed just fine. I didn't expect any different. So from here, we're just seeing uh, that it printed double-sided and the quality uh, just on regular, you know, a regular document although this is not just any regular document. Uh, so next we're going to be doing photos. We're going to be using two types of photo paper. One of them is Canon Photo Paper Plus Glossy and the other one is HP's Premium Plus Photo Paper. So to start we're using Canon Photo Paper. Two different types of photo paper. You're going to see that here. This Canon Photo Paper is glossy. So the quality is going to be about the same on each photo paper. Uh, it's just the texture at the top, whether it's shiny, matte, or you know some other type of paper. By the way, this printer does handle a lot of different types of photo paper. Of course, it can handle plain paper, bright white paper, photo paper glossy, uh, premium photo paper glossy, ultra premium photo paper glossy, premium semi-gloss photo paper, and so many other types of photo paper, all the way down to premium presentation paper and cardstock. It can take up to 1.3 millimeters in um, thickness. And so you're gonna be able to print on a wide variety of different types of media. You can print on CDs, uh, you can print on envelopes, and you have a pretty standard size here with the printer. However, you are able to print on many different types of media. A lot of different types of paper and up to 1.3 millimeter in thickness. That's pretty uh, large and I would say this is a specialty printer that is geared more towards these specialty prints. So here we have the HP photo paper and you see it's not glossy. It's glazed but it's not glossy. I actually ended up liking the quality of this photo paper a lot more. Now if you wanted to get your hands on either one of these photo papers uh, there's going to be a link in the description below for the Canon and the HP uh, photo papers that I ended up using. Now one of the things that is affecting the quality with this printer is actually the ink that is being used. So with a standard EcoTank printer you might have black, magenta, cyan, and yellow. In this case you are going to be adding some colors. You're going to be adding gray, you're going to be adding photo black, and just those two colors alone are going to give you a lot more depth, a lot better color. Uh, your photos are just going to come out, um, I would say even look a lot more professional and uh, overall you're going to get better photo prints or if you're doing some other type of printing the color is just going to be a lot deeper and a lot more vibrant. There are uh, some other printers that actually include other colors but just with these colors gray and photo black you're going to get a lot better quality. So what I tried to do with these videos is I tried to get a wide variety of photos uh, colors, you know, different eras, a uh, different landscape, so that you get a good idea of the print quality across uh, a lot of different varieties. Now, whether you're using this printer or any other printer, a very important aspect of printing photos is the presets. How you uh, adjust the presets, uh, how you input the different data that you want, 
uh, so that you can get the desired result. Unfortunately, in this video, I wasn't able to do that. I lost my screen recordings that I had done for these different photo papers. However, uh, simply knowing that you need to select not plain paper, but the type of photo paper that you have, uh, and then adjusting from there, you know, if you want the picture on the whole page or, uh, you know, on some percentage of the page, you're going to have to adjust all of that in the presets. Once you've purchased the appropriate photo paper and you have adjusted the presets to how you want them, uh, the printer is going to do the rest of the work. This is a specialty uh, super tank photo printer. It specializes in photo printing. And so you're going to get the best quality. So I highly, highly recommend that you get this printer. If you don't already have it and you'd like to get it, there's going to be a link for it in the description below. Also, if you wanted to save money on ink, I'm going to provide a link for some remanufactured versions of the ink that you would need to use for this printer. The ink is going to be the exact same as the HP ink. I know this from experience, except the difference is you're going to save yourself a whole lot of money. So uh, check all the links in the description below for the products I talk about, uh, even my laptop that I'm using here in the video, uh, along with some other things, the photo paper. That's all going to be linked down below. So our last photo that we're printing is absolutely full of color. So this is all the colors in the rainbow. So really what I'm trying to do here is uh, get you to see the in the best way possible the print quality on different colors, different types of photos, uh, different eras even. There was the one from the 1700s. Uh, so that you're able to make a good buying decision and decide whether this is the printer for you or not. Uh, you may be having to print uh, you know, some graphic design. Uh, this may be for a business. And all of these photo prints uh, you know, lead you to the conclusion that this is a printer that does really well with color. It's going to be able to handle the logo that I want to print. It's going to be able to handle a wide variety of different prints that I do. So I was personally very pleased with this printer. I highly recommend it. Remember, links are in the description below for all the products I talked about here in the video. And if this video was helpful, again, please make sure to like. If you have any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please remember to subscribe. That's really all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time.